Hey guys, I'm Blake at Antidote Outdoors. Today we're going to be showing you how to install our Antidote Deep Roof Racks. It's going to be a platform style roof rack, so it's going to be a lot more sturdy than your normal crossbars. Let's get into it. First, you're going to of course, open the box. Here, install instructions. If you don't need that right now, we're going to show you how to do that. You got your hardware, your rubber gaskets. You got your four edge pieces. These ones are two shorter ones. These are going to be the front and the back. You tell these to be stuck at the edge because they have this lip on it right here. The side edges have the holes. And then you have your crossbars right here. So we have two sizes of these. The first size is going to be the five foot three inch in width. I'm sorry, in length. In width, it's going to be four feet seven inches. Uh, that one has nine crossbars. The larger seven foot by three inch is going to have twelve crossbars. So pretty simple install. I'll show you. All right, you guys. So inside of the hardware box, we have of course the hardware. Some optional corner pieces. The rubber edging for all the mounts. Over here we have, this is going to be the five foot three inch half rack. So we have the four gutter mounts, the four gutter mount plates. Since this is going to be the older JK model, you're going to have the two window brackets as well. These are the four corner pieces that are essentially going to keep the perimeter of your roof rack together. Then your crossbars and your side beams, gaskets, that's what's all going to come inside the box. Everything you're going to need to install. Okay, now that we know what every piece goes to, what we're going to do is grab the four corner pieces, the four perimeters, our bag of hardware, and move to a nice flat surface to put it all out on the floor and get the perimeter put together. All right, you guys, we're back here in the office. We laid the perimeter all out. We got the four fronts, the two, I'm sorry, the two fronts, the two sides, the four corner pieces. Next, all we're gonna do is literally just put them in with each other, like Legos. So we do that for the rest of them. Come back, put the hardware in, and you'll see that in a second. All right, to connect these, you're gonna grab the long button bolts. Grab a locking washer first, a regular washer. We're also going to grab a square nut. This channel has the same channel on the bottom. You're going to essentially... These corner pieces do have threading in them, so you will have to thread it through the corner piece. As it's Getting closer to coming out the other side, you want to grab your square nut and put it where the hole is so that when the bolt comes through, it'll grab the threading of the T-bolt as well. Cool. Cool. You want to make this a nice tight fit so it's not rattling in there and as you can hear, it's not rattling. So that's how you want it. Got the washers in there so it's nice and locked in there. It's not going anywhere. Okay, now we got all the corner pieces secured in. We're gonna flip it over. What we're gonna do is line up our crossbars inside, like so. And you will repeat this process a couple more times down this side, down that side. So you got these all secured in, and we'll move on from there next. All right, now we got all the platform pieces put together, cross beams, perimeter, all that stuff. 
Next is going to be the footings. So we have the two bolts, I mentioned, like I mentioned previously. Slide those in there. Now, two more going. This is going to be. We're going to only put these on nice and loose for now because we are going to come back once we actually have it on top of the Jeep to get it all positioned exactly how we want it. So we've got the regular washer, blocking washer, that's not so hand tighten it for now. Okay. Still maneuverable. I'm gonna go around with the other four pieces. If you did have the longer full seven foot three inch rack, you will have up to eight of these if you have the JL, six of these if you have the JK. This is a standard one going on a older JK model, so it's coming with four of these. If you have the larger one, it would come with six. We've got the four footings on, nice and loose for now. Same method for the back two window pieces. You can use the slots like before so and the T slot like that first you're gonna do the regular washer again to distribute the weight pressure lock and wash it prevent from rattling loose process one more time for the other side. Like I previously mentioned, this is only going to be for the older JK models, the JLs. So that the back pieces are going to have extra two of these. Okay, the second small bag of hardware is optional. You don't have to use them if you don't want to. However, you can if you want to reinforce the corners a little bit and help prevent some extra wind noise from happening. Just go there. You will have to drill out these holes. I'll start off with one, tie in that one, then drill the next one, tie in that one down. Really simple. You have the nuts, the bolts in here, and you have some washers as well, just like before. Like I said, it's optional if you want to. It's not necessary. It's a new item that we just added to this part. All right, now that we got the rack on top of the Jeep, you can see it has the edging in there to help prevent any scratching. We have the outer piece with the edging as well to help prevent any scratching. We have our small button bolt, first with the locking washer and the regular washer. Okay, now we're at the back of the older JK models. If you have a JL, you're not going to need to install these pieces. They actually won't come with them. So, here we are. These pieces actually, what you want to do is pull down and lift up. Nice and easy. Put that to the side. As you can see, it's already installed. So how we do that is simply loosening these bolts. Like so. Once you get the bolts out, the strut, you may want to pull the window out to so hold the window nice and snug or have somebody do it for you. Put the plate, match it up right here behind these holes and just simply reinstall the 10 millimeter bolts. As these hooks right here is going to hook over there, this piece will clip underneath it. 
Okay, now that we have all the mounts put together and mounted, you go ahead and fine tune the position that you want all your mounts to be at, as well as your platform. Make sure it's nice and flush with where you want it to be. And then tighten everything down. We always recommend doing a nice shake test, like so. Make sure it's nice on there. Now you're pretty much good to go. The last thing you could do, if you would like, optional, is to slide your rubber gaskets through the T-tracks on top. And that will help prevent any wind noise. And you can also do this before you install the rubber. There you have it. Your Jeep platform roof rack ready to go. You can install a rooftop tent, put awnings on the side. We've got T slots all on the side of the extrusions on every single extrusion on top. So you've got mount jerry cans, shovels, water ports, or water sh uh, showers, basically anything you like. So have fun out there.